Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Janice, and it's story time again. But before we start reading, I would like to show you a picture. Can you tell what this is? This is a traffic light, and it keeps us safe. Safe when you're driving or if you're riding in a car. The red means to stop. The yellow means to be very careful, and that's called cautious. And the last one is green. And that tells us that we can go when we're at the traffic light. Well, Pennsylvania has been in the red. There are some special people in Pennsylvania that told us that we had to be in red. That means we had to stop a lot of things the last couple weeks. We couldn't go to the we couldn't go shopping, and we couldn't go to restaurants, and we had to stay at home, and we had to do a lot of special things uh, as we were at home, and that was to wear a mask. We, had to, we have to wash our hands a lot more. So that's where we are yet today, but pretty soon, the end of this week, we are going to be in the yellow, and now we will be able to do a few more things but not quite back to where we were. So we still have to be very cautious and careful and doing some of the same things as we did when we were in the red. And we look forward to getting to the green when we can go back and we can play in the park and go shopping. And guess what? You might be able to come back to the library too. And we miss all of you a lot. So we look forward to this day when those special people in Pennsylvania say that, okay, it's green time. Okay, thank you for listening to that. And that is related to our stories then for today. This first book I have is called Stay at Home Dog, and it's by Danielle and Tristan Bullock. And this book was made in the last couple months. They put this book together when all of the coronavirus started, and they were isolated at home. That meant that they were at, the family was at home, and they made this book. And all the books that they sell, they were they're going to give the money to those that need some extra help. So this one is about what's been going on with us the last two months and maybe a little bit longer now. Stay at home, dog. There is something to tell you, my dear, something you must hear. Many people are sick. We must do something quick. We have to shelter in place and not touch our face. That means social distance from all. Self-quarantine till fall. It's hard to comprehend staying away from our friends. One day soon, we'll all be able to meet. But until then... We'll keep a space of six feet. Always cover your cough. Remember to wash your hands. We want to keep the germs away so you can stay healthy day after day. But if we do have a need for food and toilet paper indeed, to the market we can still go when our supply is running low. And if the grocery store runs out, we'll order online without a doubt. It's very easy that way. Everything will be okay. Isolation doesn't mean you're alone, although we are all at home. It can be a special chance to create. You may even want to stay up late. You can still dance and prance and play, even when everyone else is video chatting all day. Color, read books, and explore Go on a venture and find something more. 
Before you know, out into the world we will go. We'll miss when life was simple and slow. Things will be normal once again. One day we'll say, remember when? So even though a pandemic is strange, that means a lot of people got very sick, the, pe the word pandemic. Know that everything will soon change. Keep an open heart and positive mind. This time can be tough, so let's be kind. And here's a picture of the dog, and they said that this dog's name is called Maple. And it was created for especially for this book so that you can learn some of the things that we needed to do in the past couple months and some that we still have to continue to do. That was our first book for today. Our next book is about feelings. During these last couple weeks, we all had a lot of different feelings, and I picked this book, and it's called My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow, some days are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. Then comes a yellow day, and wee! I am busy, buzzy bee. Gray day. Everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. Then, all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep in the sea. Cool and quiet fish. That's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan and I drag my tail. I walk alone. But when my days are happy pink, it's great to jump and just not think. Then come my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl at every cloud. Then comes a mixed up day, and wham, I don't know who or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see, and I go back to being me. So we all have a lot of feelings. We have some good days, some bad days, some happy days, some sad days, and that's okay. But remember, if somebody's having a bad day, you think about how you felt or feel when you have a bad day, and maybe you can make it a happy day and be kind to each other. Okay, thank you very much for joining me for the stories.
Okay, today we have some activities, and it's about dogs or puppies in honor of Maple, who was in our first story, Stay at Home Dog. So we're going to do something special. This is called origami. That means that it's a special folding of paper, and people in a country called Japan, they're the ones that really um, started this folding of paper. So we're going to make a simple dog. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of paper six by six, and you have a square. And then when you have the square, you're going to take it and you're going to fold it in half to make a triangle by matching up the points. Then from there, you're going to fold it this way in half. And then we're going to open it up. And we're going to fold this one down for his ear, like this. And we're going to fold this side down for his other ear. Okay. And then we're going to fold this point down here. We're going to fold this up just a little bit. Now, I, want, I wanted you to try to color it first, the paper. But I have mine already colored ahead of time, just for today, so that you can see. Here are his two ears, and here's that little part that I folded up. So that's going to be his head. So we're going to add some eyes. And you can make any kind of eye you want to, any kind of eyes you want to. I made little ones. They're real little here. But you could draw it on there, on the face, if you would like to. But I'm going to add some eyes. And we'll put his, uh, one eye here. Maple had green eyes in our story. And Maple was also brown. So that's why I chose to color my dog brown. So there are his eyes. And then I made a tongue here. You can get a piece of red paper, or you can use white paper and color it red. And I'm just going to curl his tongue up a little bit. And I'm going to put some glue here on the back. And I'm going to add it to his mouth down here. So there's, there's Maple's tongue. Oops, it fell down on me. And then I made a black nose. It almost looks like a teardrop or, or a raindrop. So the top part is rounded, and the bottom part has a little bit of a point. And I'm going to put that right there where it's folded up, the point that is folded up. Now, some dogs have some freckles on its face, so I'm going to add some freckles. And there's our face. Now, to make his body, you're going to take another piece of paper, and this is seven and a half by nine and a half, or it could be any size you want to because you could have a really long dog or a really short dog, but I took seven and a half by nine, and I'm going to fold that in half. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to cut this out here in the bottom, make like a half moon or a half circle. And that's going to be his his feet down at the bottom. Again, I went ahead and colored one ahead of time. And here it is. I made that brown, and here's his body, and here are his feet. And I'm going to just take some paper, uh, some tape, and I'm just going to add things by the tape today. And you're going to put his head up there, like that. Okay. Now, there's one last thing I did. I took this half moon here, and I made a tail for him. Whoop. 
So I made a tail out of that half moon and I cut it a little bit and I made a tail for maple. And you can put that right there. And there's our puppy for today, maple. And if, if it wouldn't be on the board, you can set it on the table and spread out his legs a little bit and he'll stand on your tabletop. So that's our first activity, which is a good representation of maple in our first story. Our next activity that I have for you to do is to make something special to eat. Now this, it's called puppy chow, but it's not for your puppy or your dog. It's for human people, it's for people to eat. Okay, and it's called puppy chow. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get one cup. This is a one cup measuring cup. And you're going to get some chocolate chip. And it's better if you have dark chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate. And you're going to put in the cup a full cup. And we're going to put it into something that you can put into the microwave. This, this measuring cup I can put into the microwave. You're gonna put the, the chocolate chips in here and then put it into the microwave and put it in for about 30 seconds on high and then get it out and stir it and see if it has melted. If, it's, if the chips have not melted completely, you put it in for another 10 seconds and then you stir it again until it's melted. Once it's melted, you're gonna take a half cup measuring cup and you're gonna fill it with creamy peanut butter. I chose Skippy, it's one of my favorites. Now, if you are allergic to peanut butter, I did find this special one that is similar to peanut butter. It's called sun butter, and it's made out of sunflower seeds, but it tastes pretty much like peanut butter. And so you can use this also if you are allergic. And this is good for anybody who is allergic to peanuts and tree nuts and milk and eggs and fish and wheat and soybeans. And I found this at Walmart or you can find it at Target, or you can get it online. But we're gonna use a half a cup, so we're gonna scoop out the peanut butter and put it in our half cup, and then you're gonna take a spoon and put it into the chocolate that you melted. And you're, going to, you're going to stir it and stir it and stir it until everything is mixed together. If you need to, you can put the peanut butter and the chocolate back into the microwave for no longer than 10 seconds though, and take it out and stir it and make sure it is well blended. After you have your chocolate done, we're gonna get our Crispix. And you are going to measure out six cups of Crispix. You can use Chex Mix cereal too. And you're gonna put it into a big bowl and we're gonna measure six cups and in the big bowl. And then you're gonna take your melted chocolate and peanut butter and pour it over the cereal that's in the bowl and you're gonna gently mix it so the cereal does not break up into little pieces. And mix it really well. And then you're gonna measure, this is confectionery sugar, it's real powdery, it's not like regular sugar, it's, um, it's very different, it, looks, it just seems like powder. And what you're going to do is you're gonna put a cup and a half in a big Ziploc baggie like this. It's a gallon baggie. And once you have your sugar in there, you're gonna take your mixed cereal with chocolate and peanut butter, and you're gonna put that in here with the confectionery sugar, and you're gonna close it really tight. Make sure it's closed. 
and then you're going to take the bag and you're going to go like this and mix everything together the powdered sugar, the cereal that's covered with peanut butter and chocolate. And when you're all done, it should look something like this. This is the puppy chow. Now, I put mine into uh, these jars because it's supposed to, you're supposed to put it into an airtight container. And it made... The one recipe that I gave you right now, it made this container and this one, and there is another one at home. But it, of the one at home, we've been munching on it, so it's going to be gone really soon. So I thought maybe you would like to make, these, make some of this puppy chow up, not only for your family, but maybe you would like to put it into a special container and give it to somebody that might be having one of those sad blue days, an act of kindness, and give it to them. Okay? That's our, that's our puppy chow. Okay, the next activity that I have is I want you to make a puppy, puppy ears headband. And here's mine that I made. It's very, very simple. You're just going to get some paper and make strips like this. It's about two inches wide. And you put as many of these together that it'll go around your head. And then you can make some ears, and I made some really big ears. This is my pattern that I made out of paper, and then I traced it onto my brown paper, and you make it big enough that you can fold it over a little bit, and I stapled everything on here. So here are your puppy ears. A very simple craft, and it looks similar to this. You have some flip-floppy ears. Okay, that's a very simple one for you to make. And then you turn into a little puppy. And maybe you want to eat your puppy chow. Okay? Um, the other thing that I have is I have a song to teach you. And it's called, uh, I Have a Dog Named Rags. And I'm going to keep my puppy ears on because there's some motions to the song. And it's, I have a dog. His name is Rags. He's so fat that his tummy sags, his ears flip flop, and his tail wig wags, wig your wiggle your body down here at the bottom, his tail wig wags, and when he walks, he walks zig zag, and those are the motions, so it's a uh, belly sags, ears flip flop, Tail wig wags and he walks zigzag. And here's the song for you to do the motions to. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He's so fat that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he walks zigzag. Flip flop, wig wag. Zigzag, flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. Thank you very much for joining us today, and I hope that you enjoy the activities and be safe, and hope to see you real soon. Thank you. Bye.